time has finally come for us to go apartment hunting in Seattle. And I'm so excited to take you guys along the apartment hunting journey to reveal to you which apartment we chose and where we're gonna be moving next. I know a lot of you want to move to Seattle or seeing what Seattle apartments and stuff is like. So first I wanna start by explaining that the reason why my boyfriend Yoni and I are moving out of our 350 square foot studio apartment is because it was our first apartment together. It was my first apartment living on my own, like without my family. Rent was pretty cheap. It was around 1300 together. So we split that by half and it was in a really good location. But the reason why we're moving out is because we've outgrown it. It's a studio, which means we don't have a separate room. So we're always kind of in the same space, which is totally fine. It's more specifically for work reasons that Yoni loves talking on the phone. I am most of the time studying for school and I can't have him like talking on the phone while I'm studying. We just needed to have like a separation in the space. It's very important for us to be able to actually have a door to close to a bedroom. So we really needed to get a one bedroom apartment. We also wanted a door to the bathroom. I don't know if I ever show this in my videos or if you ever noticed, but our bathroom actually had a barn or sliding door. When it slides, there's like some space left because the door doesn't close all the way. It just kind of covers the whole of the door like the bathroom entryway let's just say that it's kind of uncomfortable for when people like come over and even at the beginning of our relationship now we're more used to it but at the beginning it was like if you need to go to the bathroom and use the toilet for whatever you need and anyone that's in the apartment can hear your business let's just say it's not ideal but it definitely brought us closer together so maybe in a relationship if you want to get past those boundaries and those fears then get an apartment that doesn't have a real bathroom door I don't know I first moved into that apartment I also was not a youtuber so I didn't really care that much about light most of it is north facing which means no light first it's just really hard to film videos in there but also especially Seattle because it's always just gloomy I might as well have as much light in my apartment as possible another thing was that I really wanted to have a kitchen island because in my videos I love sharing with you guys a lot of cooking and a lot of different things that are related to food so having a kitchen island it's really nice because you can have the camera and then you can really see what I'm doing on the island a window in the bedroom was also really important because a lot of apartments as you will see when I show you the apartments most of them have like an urban bedroom which means the bedroom has no window it's by itself just closed into a box those were like the big things also washer and dryer there's a lot of things that we wanted in our apartment also our price range was under 1800 in general, when it comes to Seattle apartment hunting, it's pretty regular. I wouldn't say it's like vicious compared to New York. I would say also the best time to move to Seattle would be summertime. Usually May, June is when people end their lease. It's the nicest time to move in Seattle because you don't want it to rain when you're moving. And yeah, I think we should just get into the apartments. So the first apartment that we saw was in Fremont. Fremont area is kind of in Northern Seattle. It is close to Green Lake, which is a very popular area around Seattle. And it went for around $1,800 and it was around 557 square feet. And it also had a 50 square foot deck. The bathroom was really big. You had the big vanity, which we don't have right now. And also the tub. Wash and dryer was also in the bathroom. And then the bedroom is really big and it has a lot of windows. The windows were pointing to the outside where people are actually walking. This is your bedroom, so we, like you do want it to be private. The windows are so big in the bedroom, but I have a feeling we would keep them closed most of the time because you don't want people to see you in your bedroom. So kitchen was that gallery style kitchen new appliances we would have been the first people living in this apartment so that would have been really nice and then the living space was a great size i really liked the size of it then there was also a deck which was really nice and i think it was a decent size where you could really fit like a little chair a little table you could maybe do yoga outside if you really wanted to but as you can see we went on a really gloomy day and the apartment was not very bright for you know how big of windows it had it really was not getting as much light as i would want it to since the weather is mostly like it was on the day that we saw the apartment i was like this is in no way bright enough for me it would have just been 
really, really dark. The second apartments, even though technically we saw three apartments, but they were all in one building. This was in the East Green Lake area. It's a really nice area because it's pretty walkable, but it's still really quiet. You don't feel like you're in like the city, the city. So the first unit we saw in this building was around 600 square feet and it went for 1850. The entrance, you have enough space where you can make a little office area, which I really like. The bathroom was really nice with the huge vanity. Wash and dryer were also in the bathroom and then it had a tub. Going through the hallway, there's this huge closet that would actually be the closet that you would normally have in the bedroom if they put it outside. Then you have the bedroom, which is literally just enough space for a bed. So this would be kind of like an urban one bedroom because it has a sliding door, which kind of creates the separation and it becomes a wall. But I feel like if you would close that, you would feel like you're in a box, which I don't know if I would love. Uh, to be completely honest, even if it is separate and yeah, you'll be able to have a bed I just don't know if I would ever close it so that I would always feel like I'm in the same living space And then going to the living space. This was my favorite. It was really really big You have enough space to put a small dining table You can have your living room with your couch and a TV I also really loved that it was facing the running track which is super green and kind of just vast so there's no like tall buildings or anything blocking your view kitchen was again that gallery style with a lot of storage new appliances which is really nice and then i really like that there's actually some pantry storage which right now is kind of a hassle that you just kind of put the pantry stuff wherever you find the only downsides were just the fact that bedroom was kind of an urban bedroom so you did not get a window in there and the whole point is to have that separation and i don't know if that door it would actually create the separation i want and then now the next unit obviously you will see that the separation is totally not there this is actually the wall separating the bedroom from the rest of the apartment and there's no door so it would be completely open the whole time which i don't love it's also only big enough to kind of fit a bed you do have a closet which is really nice because you get the extra storage but i just didn't love that separation i didn't love that it had that window like why could you not just make an entire wall and to me it's just crazy that like a whole door makes such a difference in price so the kitchen was pretty much the same, same gallery style with a lot of storage and appliances were the same size. The bathroom, pretty much the same, a little bit smaller, which I like. And this one did not have a tub. It just had a shower, which is totally fine. And it had the washer and dryer in unit. The window was bright. I liked it. It was facing a different direction. So I don't know exactly which direction it is, but you could, you could definitely tell that it was not as bright. And the living space is big enough to fit like quite a lot in it to be honest but i just could not deal with the actual bedroom so it was already a no for me and then the last unit i saw in this building had very similar layout as the other ones it had the tub in the bathroom with the vanity and then we had a huge closet with the washer and dryer in the hallway which is really nice for extra storage and then the kitchen was pretty much the same as the first unit and then this is the bedroom where you have the barn door like the sliding door which this is kind of what we have for our bathroom right now and let me just tell you that it really doesn't separate anything like yes it closes the door but you can still hear everything and it also had this cut up part of the wall which is supposed to kind of let light in so you don't feel like you're closed off in a box So the next apartment that we saw is located in South Lake Union, which right now is a booming location in Seattle. It's growing so much because that is where Amazon and Google and Facebook and I don't know what else, all this techie stuff, that's where all of it is located. It is a more pricey area because of that, but they do have some more like reasonably priced things and they have some really cool apartment units. Really nice area to be in because South Lake Union, it gives you more of that city feel. You can definitely walk to a coffee shop or a restaurant or your groceries or something like that and you're around like really tall buildings the one that i'm going to show you right now it was actually just the model apartment the apartment that was becoming available was not going to become available until july 7th which is 
too late for us to move into but she only told me that after i toured the apartment which is totally fine so i'll still show you guys because i thought the apartment was pretty nice it's gonna be around 774 square feet and it was gonna go for 22.45 which go into the unit you can already see that it is definitely much bigger than the other ones the bathroom was not super new or modern it was kind of just the regular nothing crazy or special it had the washer and dryer in unit which are really important to me and uh, a pretty big vanity and then the kitchen area was really really nice i love the green tile i think it's a very different and special touch to the kitchen space the living space i really liked because it just everything felt really homey also because there was furniture in there already i could sense like living there would not be too bad you know it'd be quite nice and then there was a coat closet which comes in really handy as always and then the bedroom did have carpet which i don't love i really like the size of the bedroom you could definitely fit quite a lot in there it had a closet and i also liked that it had this little deck which you can't really call it a deck you kind of just step out you can't put anything out there except for maybe like a plant or something but the view is really nice as you can see you feel like you're in the city you can also even see the space needle which is crazy you don't really get that very much yeah all in all i really like the apartment it was just obviously for the reasons that i said before that it was coming available in july 7th which was not good for us because we're moving before that in june and also it was kind of above our price range so we were kind of already like not feeling it just for those reasons but it was a really nice apartment so now we're moving a little bit to the east of south lake union which is cap hill or capitol hill it's kind of like a super hipster very downtown but also super walkable a lot of restaurants a lot of bars it's like a really cool area it's also really like young and very diverse community and um they have a lot of different types of apartments in this area but one that i checked out is actually a new building looked online and it looked really really cool even though it was a little bit out of the price range i just wanted to check it out because it looked really cool and different than any other buildings that i saw in seattle we saw two units in this building the first unit was 570 square feet and it went for 2500 which i know is out of our price range i just really wanted to see the apartments in this building so in the first apartment we start in the kitchen which yes we get the island so i really liked the detailing of the that everything was black and then you have the marble countertops and then you have the gold accents of all of the little knobs everywhere and then the windows were crazy i mean there was like an entire wall of windows the bathroom perfectly sized you get a little bit of countertop with the vanity all of the accents in the bathroom were black against white which i thought was really nice carrying through the theme of the whole apartment a nice closet right as you walk towards the bedroom which would be your only closet but the bedroom is big enough where you can actually fit quite a lot in here it's like so much light coming in here you can fit a bed i'm sure you could make like a little office it's really big it does not have a door I, I could compromise for it not having a door because it's just such a beautiful unit it also has a little deck area and you can see kind of outside there's nothing blocking your view which is really nice because that way you get the most light you can the bedroom honestly was just so spacious it was crazy so much light i was obsessed with this unit it was just it was perfect like so awesome great location super walkable and the living space it was big enough where you could set up the couch you could even do a dining room table if you wanted but again it was going for 2500 with one month off which is way out of our price range so and then i checked out one more unit in this building which was going for 2300 and it was 530 square feet and i really liked this unit actually quite a lot especially because it was more of like a traditional one bedroom it didn't it actually had a door the kitchen was a gallery style kitchen it did not have the island but that's totally fine the way that the living room was situated you could have like the couch on one wall the tv on the other the one in the other unit was a little harder to figure out exactly what the setup would be but again a lot of light you have that deck again area right here where you could do an office or you could do as you can see the dining room table which is really cute bedroom was a decent size fits everything you need in there and then it also has really good storage with the closet 
and the bathroom very similar to the one in the other unit so i absolutely loved both of these units but again out of our price range and a little bit far away from school and work so generally like that's kind of what i would add to it but i really love these units and last but not least we have the apartment that you've all been waiting for and of course i can't really disclose the location for obvious reasons but i am so excited to present to you my beautiful future apartment as you walk into the apartment it already has a beautiful window right in front this is going to be on the fourth floor which is really nice there's nothing on top it's not a huge building there's only four stories and around like 60 units so not crazy big which i prefer honestly this would be a corner specifically that would be really good for having an office after you come from the entrance you can see there is the washer and dryer right over there which is kind of nice because it's far away from the living space and one thing that we really loved about this apartment is the fact that it had vaulted ceilings and i think they're around like 12 or 13 feet which is really really tall i mean anything is taller than me but and then you lead into the bathroom which didn't have a crazy amount of storage it was a pretty small bathroom but i do like that because there's more space for other things there's no shelving under the sink but we can easily build a little shelf ourselves and then that way we can store more stuff under the sink in there also what i didn't show in this um recording is that the door to the bathroom is into the wall and slide it and then lock it and it's nice because it saves space that that's why the bathroom can be so small and it's also still a real door that actually locks and that doesn't have space around it so you don't feel like you're with everyone in the bathroom and you're you get to have your privacy i really like the fact that they manage to fit a kitchen island in there and specifically because they fit the stove on the kitchen island which sometimes they have the sink on the kitchen island kitchen is really basic you also have the kitchen hood that looks really chic and modern and it's like so tall and long because of how tall the ceilings are whole kitchen just looks really new and modern and clean and i really like the little tiling on the backsplash of the kitchen it looks really nice you can see that the kitchen is not huge I have enough space to actually you know open the fridge and open the drawers but for me it won't be as big of an issue for yoni it's gonna be a little harder and it's gonna take some adjusting it was a gloomy day at the time we were there and it was still like so, so bright. Bedroom with a real door that also locks. It's big enough to where you can fit a whole bed. So we're gonna have a queen bed in there and it has a huge closet that has two separate doors. So you can feel like you have a his and hers and we don't have to mix our things together. Also a window in the bedroom, which as I said before, was really important to us to have light and natural light in the bedroom and have a door. It's not huge, it's not like I can fit multiple things in the bedroom so it's literally just going to be the bed window in the bedroom and the one where the couch is going to be they face south so we're going to have direct sunlight all day in the bedroom and then when it comes to the rest of the apartment we will get direct sunlight later in the afternoon because um it's west facing so that's where the sun goes down and overall this space was just honestly perfect as soon as we walked in there we were just in love even though the space is smaller and it's you know not as big as the other ones and maybe it's not as luxurious i think it had the perfect amount of everything we wanted it had the doors it had the washer and dryer it had the island it had amazing lighting in a west and south facing windows it had good closet space you know i also like the fact that it has that really kind of big area in right at the entrance where we're gonna do our office space and that's really nice because it kind of can separate the apartment a little bit and everything is not just in one room so if i'm in the living room yoni can be in the office or can be in the bedroom so we kind of have like a few areas we can be in in the apartment honestly it was just perfect i'm just so excited and we did get accepted for this apartment we applied right away we got it right away um so we're really excited that we're gonna be moving so get ready for those moving vlogs because they're coming let me know if you want to see more videos of just seattle the seattle vibes restaurants all that good stuff let me know if you're interested in seeing more of that type of content because i would love to do that for you especially summertime coming around i will have a little bit more time to do more specific videos i also have some cool fun exciting projects coming up keep an eye out for that because 
gonna be so good. Anyways, without further ado, ladies and gents, thank you for joining me on this beautiful day. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.